Hi guys, good morning. So, um, what I wanted to talk about is something that's been coming up for me. Obviously, that, that is what I talk about. Um, so, a friend of mine has been um, in a hospice dying. Um, and um, I've been there by his bedside seeing him just dwindle he's, he hasn't he's no no longer eating or drinking or anything and literally just fading away <laughs> and um it just oh, just makes me think about so many things and for some reason what came up for me as i was sitting there was that we think we know other people we think we know ourselves <laughs> um, and it's really all an illusion you know it really really is um, one thing I've noticed a lot is that for the most part people are terrified of each other people are so afraid of each other because we all hurt each other all the time we're so judgmental toward each other towards ourselves and we're very harsh we make assumptions based on jack shit um, we guilt each other we shame each other we judge each other and that's all programmed that's perception hijack because for the most part, people actually do the best that they can. We cannot be something we're not ready to be. It's it's like it's like when Jesus was hanging on the cross and oh, I don't really like these analogies about Jesus, but he did say forgive them for they know not what they do, and I believe this to be true. In many 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 ways there, there are instances perhaps where that is not the case it's not a black and white scenario but for what I've noticed you know for the most part I, I really believe this to be true I think that especially for people who are very wounded but just really in a general sense for anyone we see other people as we see ourselves that is what I've observed. Now, if you grow up in a very abusive environment, say a narcissistic environment where you're being scapegoated all the time, yes, like like I was, um, you you carry that. I call it the mark. That's what I call it. It's an energetic thing. You, you give out a certain frequency, the scapegoat frequency. And what you'll start to find is that, well, you'll go through life, you'll often be accused, other people will accuse you of things you haven't done. This thing will play out a lot in your life. But you, you yourself radiate this outwards. You yourself expect to be treated like a scapegoat. You expect that. That is your perception, that is your bandwidth, your own personal vibration frequency bandwidth. I am a scapegoat, I am a scapegoat. You behave in a certain way, your body language is geared a certain way. You expect mistreatment, you expect to be accused of shit you haven't done. You may, you may even subconsciously think well seeing as everybody thinks I've done this this and this I may as well do this this and this so you become you know you become a, a criminal or whatever you know because at the end of the day if everybody thinks that is who you are you may as well be you may as well reap whatever benefits you can from said state of being you see what I mean we, we are in so many ways a product of our our, our trauma and, and our parents traumatize us because our parents were traumatized and they are products of their trauma-based mind control. We are all captives of mass consciousness and we perpetuate this when we are not in awareness of it. 
we realize when we get to a point where we're more aware that when this is clearly the case, that how well do we really know anything or anyone? And how well do we know ourselves? When, when we spend... <sighs> See, this, this is what I wrote down, and I do feel this to be right. Wetico, the virus, the mind virus, it requires, it seems to me, it requires a certain environment in which to live, in which to thrive. And it's an environment of what I call war consciousness, conflict consciousness, right? It does not want us to challenge our perceptions. It doesn't like that at all. No, no. So what we have within our within our being is this resistance and it's very perverse because it always wants us to stay with the perception that is negative. It's always slanted towards the negative. The perception is, well, it's better to expect the worst and it's better to expect that people think this about you and think that about you, that they see you this way and that they see you that way, to which you then react a certain way, generally with resentment, hatred, rage, uh, feeling like a victim, feeling used, feeling abused, uh, I want vengeance, I'm going to fuck this fucker over, I'm going to do this to you and I'm going to do that to you because you did this to me and I'm going to do that to you. You get what I'm saying? And so that's what keeps this whole show on the road. Right, that is how we keep creating shit. It's perpetually circling the fucking drain. Wetico lives there. That is where it fucking lives. We have to stop and challenge our perceptions about who we are, about what this is, about other people. We can start there because actually your perception about who we are, what we are, what reality is, what's really going on, like I said, that is really a bit like pinning down air at this juncture. I don't, I don't think our consciousness is ready for the massive re revelations at, at this point. I think we're still too stupid for that. Mass consciousness is fucking stupid. It's not our fault. We were born into this sludge. But the feels part as we awaken more and more and more. And part of that is to start to challenge our perceptions. So take it all back, first of all, to your first awareness in your childhood. Forget about past lives, even, you know, but just think about your parents. Think about what did they teach me? What did they instill in me? Some people had better childhoods than others. Or perhaps I always say less bad childhoods than others because we're all fucked up here, right? In this insane asylum. So it's a case of the blind leading the blind, you know. Um, so we. <laughs> what was it? In the kingdom of the blind, the one eyed man is king. So if we want to be kings and queens in the kingdom of the blind, we need to challenge our perception. So we need to take it back to our inception point of, okay, what happened to me? And what, how has that shaped my perception of my life, my world, my selfhood? What is my identity? Because let me tell you people, your identity is not who you are. It's not, it's not who you are at all. It's, it's a bit like a, like, a, like an outfit that you wear, that you've become very attuned to, you know, that, that's really all it is. And that, that's why awakening is so hard, because it actually hurts to have that peeled away from you. That is the fake persona. That identity of, well... This is what happened to me as a child, ergo, that is how it is, that is the truth. And these people are judging me, and they think I'm shit, and they think I'm worthless. When in fact, are these people thinking that? Are they? You don't know that. You think they think that. And so you behave toward these people a certain way. Probably with a certain amount of rancor, suspicion dislike, resentment, 
all-out hatred. Thereby, probably making these people think exactly what you thought they think. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy then. Catch 22 people and, and we have done it to ourselves. It's like... Like something I've noticed about women in, in the general sense is that women are taught by their mothers that it's, it's, it's a woman's duty almost. It's a woman's duty to be nice, to be yielding, to be of service, to be caring, to be, to be self-sacrificing, to neglect herself in favor of giving to everybody else, her children, um, her family, society. Give, 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 and just neglect yourself and neglect your own needs. Just keep neglecting yourself. That really fucks us up as women, it does, and it totally disempowers us. Of course, men are very much taught to take forcibly if necessary um, and to totally take for granted the women in their lives because hey it's a woman's duty to do everything for us so why should we give thanks for it you know it, it, it's all really fucked up and really dysfunctional um, so I think a lot of women carry around a shit load of rage a great deal of rage. No wonder we have such bad menopauses now. Menopause used to be a thing back in the day where it was three, four, five, six years. Now, I know women in their seventies they've had hot flushes for the last thirty years. You know, that's not that's not right. But you know what that is? That's all that hate and all that rage stored up inside of us, of this this perception drummed into us that. We are caregivers, we are women, we are nurturers, we are mothers. We have to give and give and give and we have to always neglect our own needs. So there we are, we find ourselves without even thinking, without even, you know, it just we do it automatically, promising of I'll be there for this and I'll sort this out and I'll give you this and I'll be there for you and come and stay with me and I'll feed you and I'll give you my money and be everything to everybody at all times. But of course, you don't really want to do that at all. It makes you feel good, perversely, when you behave that way, because that's the programming, that's how you're meant to be. But it's actually really fucking toxic and it really fucks you up and it really hurts you and deep down you know that. So then something in you begins to stir and you think, well actually, you know what? I said I would do this. I said I would give you this. I said you could, and I, uh, 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 but I don't want to at all. I'm into it now, and it's happening. And actually, I feel taken advantage of, and I feel fucking angry and resentful, and I don't want to do this anymore. But I'm too scared to say something. Passive aggression. I'm afraid to say something. I'm afraid to opt out. I'm afraid to say, you know what? I did agree to do this for you, or I did agree you could come here and ha ha ha. But I've changed my mind, I don't want to do it anymore. So, I'm sorry, but no. Because the retaliation, the retaliation, and we're sensitive, so that's going to hurt, and we can't cope with that, and ooh, the whole world will collapse if we take back our power. So we better not, and just carry on doing it anyway, to the detriment of ourselves. You see? All of this type of shit reinforces it, and, and that is exactly what Wetico wants. It's not good for anybody, not at all, but it reinforces this mass consciousness, this hate, this rage, this passive aggression, which is hate and rage and perversity. You've got to keep doing it anyway, even though it makes you feel like shit. You've got to keep doing it anyway, because if you don't do it, you will be punished. Something bad will happen. You've got to expect the worst at all you know, at, at any given opportunity, you've got to expect the very, very worst because you know that's, that's what's going to happen. Life is shit and then you die, so the worst will always happen and everything will always go down anyway, like lemmings over the cliff. And, you know, if you stand in the light, if you stay in the light and actually imagine great, wonderful, amazingness happening, you something bad will happen instead. You will be punished. How dare you be so, so arrogant as to expect good things to happen, right? 
And then for men as well, it's like, um, you know, you have to look after everybody as well. You have to make sure that you have to be the strong one. You have to be strong. You can't be sensitive. You can't cry. You can't be upset. How dare you? You're a sissy. You're a pussy. Whoa. So this, this all leads to repression, 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 repression. And this leads to disease and mental health issues and, and cancer and God knows what else. <laughs> And that, that is only like the top of the iceberg, people. Because when you really get down to the nitty gritty of the perception manipulation of how we see other people, because I had an interesting experience, is because there are some people that I thought think about me a certain way and see me a certain way, not in a positive light. And so I was very nervous going there yesterday and sitting by the bed and I felt very uncomfortable. But actually it didn't turn out to be that way. There was a great deal of, of sympathy and, and for the person dying and for each other and there was a kind of healing and a communion and it was actually a very good experience, you know? And it made me realise that we project so much shit onto other people this is what they're thinking about me. They think I'm shit, they think I'm worthless. They don't like me. I'm not like them. We have nothing in common. It's all shit. Our behavior then follows suit, thereby creating exactly that scenario. It's amazing. And I was shown that, no, that is not how that works. And yes, we have a choice. Yet again, we can choose our perception. We can challenge our perceptions. They do not have to rule us anymore. We are awakening beings here, people. We are awakening and we are taking back our power. And a big part of that is challenging our perceptions. It's so important. I mean, if we don't challenge our perceptions, how the fuck will we ever change? How will anything ever change? We'll just numbly create over and over again the same shit. And that is wetty cow. It's, you know, it just is. Um, <sighs> to truly know ourselves... It means dispensing with the denial to really go within, to really be present with yourself and watch yourself. Watch yourself, watch your reactions, watch your emotions, watch your thoughts, watch your interactions with other people, with your environment, with the events in your life. Observe, 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 observe. And you'll see the insanity in yourself. It will become very, very clear and it's very, very difficult and very... It's almost like, oh, get it off me, get it off me. You feel dirtied by it. But it's, it's imperative that we do this. Hard though it is, it has to be done. You know? Um, yeah, you know that quote, everything you know is wrong. And that's pretty much the truth here, see there is truth in this equation here, that everything we know, which is basically just perception manipulation, everything we know is wrong. It's all fucking bullshit. You are not what you think you are and other people are not what you think they are. It wants us to be at war with ourselves, with each other. That is what it wants because that is where it lives people. Make no mistake. And it's up to us to make these very hard choices, to go against that programming, to go against that, that very strong energy that says, yeah, yeah, go, go, fuck those fuckers, you know, all of that. And to, to challenge those perceptions and to choose a different path, we can do it. Yeah, I think that's it for today. And... Um, that's it. <laughs> Two new people.